Okay. As promised, I'm going to walk through the practice for lesson four. This is lesson five, not four. Lesson five board events. Looks like we got five levels or five exercises here in this level. We'll start with at the start with debugging. And the app below is meant to update based on how the user interacts with the board. However, the wrong events are displaying. Can you fix the error so the correct text appears with the correct event? I think this is easier if you, instead of blocks, use text so you can copy and paste more easily. So I switch this to text. The first one, we just have to look at what's in the parentheses and make sure it matches what we're printing to the screen. So when the left button goes down, we need this to say the left button is down. So we're just gonna take this and copy it here. When the left button is up, we need to say the left button is up, right button is down, right button is up, toggle switch is open, toggle switch is closed, toggle switch is open, toggle switch is closed. That should do it, let's test it. So I am going to push the left button down. I think that this might look upside down to you guys. Maybe I can flip it up when I edit this. Left button is down, left button is up. Right button is down, right button is up. Toggle switch is closed, toggle switch is open. Bingo! That is done and done. Let's go to the next one. Emoji reactions. Make an app that starts with a neutral emoji on the screen. When the user presses down the left button, it changes to a happy face. When the user presses down the right button, it changes to a sad face. When the user lets up either button, it changes back to neutral face. And we don't have any code to start with yet. So we're gonna have four event handlers here. So let's drag over four onboard events. The first one is left button down. The second one is right button, so change L to R. Right button down. Release is the left button, so this will be left, left button up. And this will be right button, button R up. Cut. Now we need to go back to UI controls and use our set property. Our ID is the face image. And we want, I think, is it image? I'm gonna go back to blocks. Let's go back to blocks. So I can see the drop downs. Yes, it's, I believe it's image, and then we can choose what icon we want. And this is supposed to be a happy face, I believe. The Smilo. Okay, so again, drag in a set property, face image, image. Icons, sad face, it's a property, face image, image. This is the meh face, neutral face. And again, neutral face. I can just copy this block to here. That should do it. Let's run it. So we start neutral, left button down, left button up, right button down, right button up. Works. All right, let's move on. LED blinker, create an app that simulates a blinker on a car or bicycle. Okay, that's doable. Create an app that simulates a blinker on a car or bicycle. When the user slides the toggle switch open, the LED should start blinking. When the user slides the toggle switch closed, the LED should stop. 
When the toggle switch is open, blink the LED. When the toggle switch is closed, stop the LED from blinking. Okay. Onboard event. Two of those. And we want the toggle switch open on this one. And we want the toggle switch close on this one. And then we're gonna, when the toggle switch is open, blink the LED. LED blink, we'll leave it at 200 milliseconds. Toggle switch is closed, stop. LED off. That should do it, let's run it. Toggle switch open, LED is blinking. Toggle switch close, LED's off. Open, blinking, closed, off. Okie doke, let's go to the next one. Morse code simulator, kill. Morse code is a system for communicating that uses long and short beeps to represent letters. Create an app that uses the buttons to play beeps for Morse code. The left button should play short beeps and the right button should play long beeps. When the left button is pressed, play a short buzz. When the right button is pressed, play a long buzz. Okay, onboard event and onboard event. When the left button's pressed, play a short buzz. So we're going to use a buzzer frequency. 500, 100, yeah, that's good. And then this one, when the right button's pressed, so we have to change this to button R, play a long buzz, and we'll say that's a one second, 1,000 milliseconds. That should do it. Uh-oh. Interesting. So my board is locked up. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. I'm gonna press the reset button once, and then I'm gonna run. Still not working. We're gonna have to go back to the setup. I did get a response from code.org about this, and they said update the firmware, which is gonna take me a minute. But hopefully that will fix the problem. I think it will. Go back to board events, practice. Morse code simulator. Here we go. So we'll do SOS. Short, 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 long, 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 short, short, short. Yay. Next. Last one, yes or no communicator. Create an app that uses the buzzer and the left and right buttons to represent the answers to yes or no questions. For example, a high buzz could represent yes and a low buzz could represent no. Then use the buzzer to answer yes or no questions with a partner and see if they can understand your responses. Decide on what buzz represents yes and what represents no. We'll do yes is high, no is low, frequency. Use a label element to describe what type of buzz means yes and what type of buzz means no. For example, a high pitch buzz is yes, a short buzz is yes. Okay, so we're gonna go to design mode. We're gonna drag a label here. The text is gonna be a high pitch means yes. A low pitch means no. When the user presses left, respond with yes. Right, respond with no. We're gonna go back to code mode. We're gonna pull in two onboard events. Left button down. Yes is gonna be a high pitch. We need buzzer frequency here. We need buzzer frequency here. High pitch will say 800. Low pitch will say 200 and that's gonna be the right button. That should do it. Left button. Yes, 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 no, 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 yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, that was fun. And that's it for the practice on Lesson 5 Board Events. Thanks for watching, see you next time.